Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're doing the reveal for our Kawaii subscription. This is the subscription for the month of February. I can't believe we're already doing February. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have two different subscriptions. We have a monthly subscription, which is different than this, and then we have this, the Kawaii kit. The main difference between the two subscriptions is that the monthly kit is month specific. It's going to include a monthly overview and stickers for the weekly overview, while this kit here is not month specific. So you can use it anytime you want. Because it's not month specific, it doesn't have a monthly overview. So definitely keep that in mind if you like to be really matchy between the monthly overview and your weekly layouts. That's not going to that's not going to happen <laughs> because we don't have a monthly overview. I don't have a nicer way of saying that. Um, but uh, we offer this kit in five different sizes. So we have vertical, horizontal, itty bitty, Hobonichi weeks, and print impression weeks. I'm going to go through all of the sizes here. Signups are available from the first of the month through the 10th. If you sign up anytime during that time, you will get this kit. So February 1st through February 10th, 2021, this kit will ship to you between the 15th and the 17th of February. If you're already signed up, then charges automatically happen on the 11th and then your kit will ship with everyone else's. Um, if it is your first time signing up, your initial charge is going to be on the day that you sign up. And then going forward, starting with March, it'll be on the 11th. If you ever want to cancel, change your size or anything really, um, it's really easy to do so. You can do it in your portal, um, your customer portal. If you do want to change your size, you can send me an email, support at sweetkawaiidesign.com. It's super easy switcheroo on my end, um, but you do need me to do it if you're switching out the sizes. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to put a link in the description bar down below. It'll have all of the details there uh, regarding pricing and the different sizes. And there's a size chart in the frequently asked questions section. And I think, well, let's get going, right? I, I feel like I talk so much in the beginning of the videos. And it's like, hurry up. <laughs> um, so March is craft month and so that's what inspired me to do this kit so yes this kit is shipping in february and it's not month specific but that gave me an idea to do a really fun crafting kit because we've done planning kits and all that kind of stuff but nothing that encompasses like all of the crafts so let's do the horizontal and vertical first and then we'll go into the other sizes so with no matter what size that you choose the bonus item this month is a bunch of fun little decorative pieces that complement the kit perfectly so you have your paint sets uh, your cutter like a silhouette or you can imagine it to be a cricket if that's what you use you have your washi tape um, the critters crafting oil pastels all of that kind of fun stuff so that is the little bonus item the jumbo sticker it says all i need is a little caffeine and a lot of crafting or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, it is printed on the removable sticker material. So if you wanted to stick it into your planner, you could. If you wanted to laminate it, you could. Uh, the only thing with laminating, so you can laminate the sticker, but if you wanted to put the sticker on something sturdier, like cardstock or something like that and laminate it, I think you'll have a really nice result because it will have a little more, it'll be rigid compared to not so rigid, depending on the mill that you're using. But anyways, that's the jumbo sticker. Next up, we have sheet number one. Sheet number one is fun and filled with all these kinds of fun jumbo stickers. So these are a little wider and taller <laughs> than the regular stickers that are in the kits like these ones. You can see it's a huge difference. So these are really fun for just having some really decorative pieces in your planner. You have the stickers that remind you of when your kit is paid and when your kit ships. And so you have Frank, Simon, um, Poe, and then you have them down there doing their crafts as well. So just cute. If you, um, he has the, <laughs> the popsicle sticks glued to his fingers. That's why he has the red over his finger, over his nose. He's just getting really irritated. Uh, so that is sheet number one and they are identical between the two. This is the color scheme, really fun, really bright, perfect for the start of the year, fresh new colors coming out of winter. Um, so that's page number two. You have a full sheet of headers. 
For the vertical and the horizontal, the width of the stickers are the same, one and a half inches, but the vertical stickers are a little taller. So these are 1.9 inches versus uh, 1.65 inches. So just a little bit shorter, but it does make a di big difference. So you have your clouds, you have your blank schedule, you have some more decorative pieces. That's number three. Number four, you have your checklists. I thought it would be really fun to do little crayons and then the um, scalloped. So you get full sheet of those. And again, the only difference is the height. So you'll notice just a little bit shorter. Full boxes. I love the full boxes for this month. I tried to think of all the different crafts to kind of include everybody. So you have these here that just say highlight of the day with a little highlighter. Made with love and curse words. Uh, create something amazing. No skein, no gain. I tried to test this one on Zach to see if skein was like a... Uh, like a universal everybody knows it but <laughs> Zach's exempt <laughs> I hope you all know a skein is basically that bundle of yarn the way it's bundled um, so you have a smaller version of the caffeine sticker get to the point with the little needles so lots of fun puns a lot of fun crafting stuff so again only difference the height of the full boxes Page number six, you have the critters getting crafty. So you have Poe, who's holding his knitting needles. Um, Simon, who's drawing something wonderful. You have the craft is cheaper than therapy. So I tried to make it to where it's like craft therapy. So craft is cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Netflix and craft and make time to be creative. I love Frank with the little easel. I think that's so adorable. So that's sheet number six. Sheet number seven, you have a bunch of icons. So you have things of like chores, celebrations, paydays, groceries, just fun random ones, and then some more crafting critters, and then your typography. So that's sheet number seven. And as I'm looking at this, I noticed that this was printed before I did the update for the date covers. So uh, this will be actually pink, and I'll show you that on the date covers in just a sec. Sheet number eight, you have your weekend banners. And so they're pencils, markers, paintbrush. Thought that would be really fun. Your blank habit trackers, your quarter boxes. You have your half boxes, and I put some decorative items on some of them and left some of them blank. That way you'd have more room to write. And then this is what I'm talking about. So for the date covers, I did pencils, and then the little dates can cover the erasers. So that the date covers. I love the date covers. And then the bottom washi is super fun too with the bright colors and all of the different craft supplies. So you get four weeks worth of washi tape. So that is the vertical and the horizontal. Let's move into the print pression week since it's very similar to horizontal. All right, so print pression. We have, again, the decorative stickers. I'll do a little close up so you can see them all up close. And then we have the jumbo sticker that's sized to fit the print pression weeks. And then sheet number one. So this is all going to be very similar. It's almost identical to the horizontal kit and the sizing and everything, but there are some differences like this here on sheet number two. Sheet number two for those other two that I just showed you, if you remember, were all headers. And because the print pression weeks kit is a little, or a planner is a little smaller, I put a little less headers and some more quarter boxes because these are super functional in the print pression weeks. So that's sheet number two. And then we have sheet number three. Again, cute little clouds, blank schedules, and the little decorative stickers. We have the uh, checklist. So I did some large and then some babies. For the scalloped ones, I don't make any babies because they're really easy to trim into babies. <laughs> we need a better name for these little checklists. But that's sheet number four. I did have room for some extra deco pieces, so I did put those on the bottom. You have sheet number five with all of the full boxes, sheet number six, sheet number seven, and again, pretend these are pink. We haven't started production yet, so I always uh, hand these off to Zach and he does all my spelling check errors because I make a lot of them, um, and then catches little things like that, but I beat him to it. <laughs> so anyways, we have the icons and the typography. We have the weekend banners, the blank schedules, or habit trackers, and the quarter boxes. Sorry if you guys can hear my watch dinging. I don't know what's going on, but 
lots of stuff's happening on my watch. Um, crafty Critter um, half boxes. So you have all of these. The date covers. Again, my favorite. So these would go on the eraser. I think I already said that. I feel like such a space cadet today. <laughs> That's sheet number 10. And then your bottom washi, size to fit the print impression weeks, and then some additional half boxes. Get up close so you can see how cute that is. So that's the print impression weeks. Next up we have, let's do Hobonichi weeks. So Hobonichi weeks, again, the cute little decorative sheet, the uh, jumbo sticker. We have all of these guys too. And again, they're nice and big, so they will be perfect for using on the right side of your planner. Unless you wanted to blow out one of the boxes, you could do that too. So there's that. And then we have the date covers. And then we have your quarter boxes. And again, I think on the original design, I actually changed the colors of these. They're not all pink. You guys, this is a rough video. I'm so sorry, we're not prepared. <laughs> this is like last minute filming here. Um, but when you get this, they're going to be the pink orange. Yellow, maybe. Depends if you can read the Monday. I'm gonna test it. And then the green and the teal. So just picture that <laughs> for the date covers. And then we have the blank schedule. We have all of the cute little baby checklists. And then some of the typography, the rest are coming up. You have these full boxes. They're similar to the half boxes, but these are full when you think about the uh, Hobonichi Weeks and the layout. And then you have all of these full boxes. So the same, just laid out differently. These will look really nice on the right side of the planner. You can use it on the left side too. It will cover the date cover if you do that. Or you could trim it because a lot of them are trimmable with the design. So it just depends. Sheet number seven with all of the icons and the rest of the typography. You have your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, which are sized to fit for the Hobonichi. So these are very special stickers. They're really specific to that planner. And then the start of your washi. And then usually on this sheet, we have just all full boxes, but I really didn't want to leave out any of these cute little ones here. So I decided to just replace those with that. And then you have the top washi. So that's the Hobonichi Weeks. And then last but not least, we have Itty Bitty. And so the Itty Bitty, again, you have your deco sheet. You have your um, jumbo sticker, <laughs> four by six for the Itty Bitty. For the vertical and the horizontal, it's a five by seven. You have your jumbo stickers, and these are sized down compared to the jumbo stickers here but they're still big in relation to the planner. So you'll see they're, they're smaller, but in comparison to all the other stickers, they're still a lot larger. I just wanted to make sure that they could stay in the parameter of a full box, which is an inch wide and 1.27 inches tall. So that's that. <laughs> and then we have all of the headers and that really fun color scheme. We have the blank schedule. We have the icons, we have some typography. You're getting all of the same stickers, they're just laid out a little different, so you'll see the rest of the typography in just a bit. You have your checklists, the full boxes, and then these here, the rest of your icons, so cute your weekend banners, your blank habit trackers, your quarter boxes, your half boxes, your date covers. I don't know why these date covers make me so happy, um, but you, there's that. And then your bottom washi, which is size to fit. Can't pick it up. Let's see up close, all of the cute little guys there. And that, my friends, is the 
quite it for the month of February. I hope you enjoyed the design. I think it's so cute. And even if you don't, I, I feel like if you're a crafter, you kind of dabble in everything. So I hope that you enjoy it. Um, if you do, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I would love to know the type of themes that you want to see coming up into the spring and summer, back into fall. So leave a comment below with your dream theme and maybe you'll see it come to life. Again, signups are available from the 1st of February through the 10th. After that, this kit will say goodbye. They don't come to the shop in its entirety. So if you love the theme, I highly recommend that you get it. Um, I think that's it. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.